After a long week of debate over what is considered appropriate for prom, the big night in Shelton has come and gone. News 8's Josh Scheinbloom has been following the story from the very beginning. He went to Shelton last night and has more. In buses, limousines, and cars, around 550 students from Shelton High School descended on the Oakdale Theater in Wallingford for their junior-senior prom. A scene typical this time of year at venues across the country. What's different, though, about the night that unfolded for students here, it was surrounded in controversy after the headmaster made an announcement last week that students who wore dresses with outfits that were backless, had cutouts, or had an exposed midriff would not be allowed to go to prom, and the cost of the ticket to attend would not be reimbursed, a move that upset parents and students alike. It definitely affects a lot of girls, and moo-moos are not appropriate for prom, so I don't know what their options are. It's just really harsh. We were all, like, shocked that it came out. Even Sunday night, there were still people frustrated the situation unfolded like it did. I think they're making a big deal out of nothing nowadays. It's, uh, it's a little too much that they concern themselves with. In the days after the announcement was made, News 8 received dozens of emails and messages on social media from those concerned the prom dresses they purchased didn't fall in line with the headmaster's edict. Yet school administrators still insisted they would stand behind their policy. As a school system, uh, we have the right and I think we have the responsibility uh, to set a standard. But on Friday, we received the following statement from district officials that reads in part, following a final review of prom dresses, the final number of those that have been deemed inappropriate is six. Our review committee, comprised of seven female staff members, reviewed more than 150 dresses in all. News 8 was outside the Oakdale for much of the evening's festivities, but were not allowed on the grounds. If anyone was turned away, they haven't reached out to us. But those we did talk to who were permitted to stop by say it looked like everyone was having a good time. Uh, nice job. I mean, you have, to, you have to give them credit. They do a nice job. In Wallingford, Josh Scheinblum, News 8.